Okay, another great thing about the Manly Core is it has a splendid DI sound, uh, direct injection. Now this is that sound that you probably heard ooh, back in the early Motown days where the engineers would plug into the mixing board. This is personally one of my favorite ways to use the Manly Core. It just sounds amazing. So let's get started. DI, direct injection, right into the front there. Okay, let me set you up with my Motown inspired tone. The Manly does this particularly well, better than most preamps out there, especially at this price point. Let's check it out. Okay, so first we're going to bring in the input level. Yep, we're going to push that high boost button. And that gives it a nice little push into the preamp, which sounds wonderful. And that's pretty close. Okay, so let's check our, our low frequency level. Let's just bring up that 50 hertz. Let's pull down the top end. And somewhere around 100, 200 hertz there on the mid-range sweep. And maybe about a third of the way up there or more. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so let's put on our limiter to just give it a little ceiling. And then we'll add some compression, just like that. I've got a slow attack and a fast release. Here's that Motown sound. Woo! Let's get more of a punky sound, okay? We're gonna still keep that high end button up. We're gonna keep that where it feels comfortable. Let's take a look at the input level. Right there sounds good. Watch the input into the DAW. Make sure it has just a bit of compression just to kind of soak up and keep it steady. I'm gonna use my fingernail, which is not a pick, but it will sound like one by the time I'm done. Um, all right, let's find that top mid-range sound. Real quick, push the button up, uh, turn that all the way up, and let's just sweep it until, we, until it kind of picks up the strength. We're gonna start from the high end to the low end. Right about there. Bring up some low end into that. Yep. And let's give it some top end. And you can hear those two low and high frequency back sandals crossing over each other and pulling up the mid-range together. It's great. Make sure the limiter is on and let's go. So I'm going to back down the front end, lighten up on that limiter and lighten up on the compression. This is a great sound when you really embellish that mid-range to really pick up the percussiveness of your bass guitar. And it does it great. Look how much mid-range I've got going there and look how much top end I've got going. And that's an awful lot. We've got the limiter holding everything down. Maybe we'll put an even faster limiting sound. Compressor is barely doing anything. We just have a little in there to even it out. And now I'm going to palm mute and play with my make believe pick. And listen how cool that sounds. Thank you. 